Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. I uh, wanted to draw your guys' attention to something because I've been getting a lot of responses from you guys on a couple videos that I've made about the hitches on the Highlander, all right? Now, if you look, and, and I'm gonna show you right now, this is an XLE Highlander, all right? If you take a look at an XLE Highlander, you're gonna see that it'll come from the factory just like this. You've got your um, factory hitches on here. It's a, uh, you know, it's a really nice setup. You've got your uh, powers right down here for your cable, all right? Now, what I wanna do is I wanna walk down here and I'm going to come this way because I want to show you guys something. Now, kind of giving you the idea of what's happened, all right? This is a limited, all right? Limited all-wheel drive. And you'll see it looks a little different than what the other hitch looks like. You'll look down here. You'll see this icon right here, all right? It's got a shorter kick. So, um... And I'm in the rain here a little bit, so bear with me. Hopefully, I don't get anything on the lens. If I do, I might wipe it off. But um, on the Limited and the Platinum, you can kick and open the back door as long as you have your key in your pocket. So you just kick wherever it's at, all right? Well, normally, it runs pretty much where the hitch is. It's about, I don't know, let's call it two and a half, three feet long. Well, when they replace it, that piece is right here. All right, it's about a foot long. All right, so here's what you guys have been telling me is that you're buying these Highlanders that don't have them, that don't have hitches from dealers and they're like, we'll throw the hitch on for you. And they're promising to do that, all right? If it doesn't have one, then it's, and they're talking about putting one on, be very careful all right and here's the reason i'm about that i'm really saying this all right is that these people are putting on aftermarket hitches on limited and platinum highlanders aftermarket hitches because or or they're well main reason is because that sensor still gets in the way so you put on an aftermarket hitch to disable the sensor that's the way that it was happening before but the new way that this is that these things go on on these uh, on these Highlanders guys, they have that new piece, and I'm looking for another one here to kind of give you guys what a platinum looks like while I'm out here in the rain, of course. But they have the pieces that they can do all of it. You can order the platinum from or the limited with the hitch. It's code DH. You can order them from the factory that way, and at this point and this is just me but at this point i'm advising you guys to have the dealership locate one that has a hitch and when i say locate they'll know what i mean it's a dealer trade if they don't have one that has a hitch and they're saying look just buy ours and we'll add the hitch you guys are telling me that this isn't working out well for most people so if you guys are wanting a hitch on your new highlander don't and, and and all you guys that have called me and and that have uh talked to me about this and i was just like i said just looking back here again you guys have helped me to help all these other people just have them locate one from the factory with the hitch just because it can be added after the fact but it seems like most people are not doing it right um they're aftermarket they're it's not you know You've got this platinum here, this right here, this is the gray piece, right, on a platinum. When they have it, they switch it to the hitch, it'll look like this, but it'll still be the same gray on the platinum if it's a factory hitch on the platinum, all right? The Limited has a gloss black back there, but some people are saying they're trying to put this one, that piece on there, no matter which one it is. Well, it's not factory that way, guys. So if, if you guys are okay with the hitch that hangs down below the bumper, that's the other thing that they're doing. So if you come down here, you can bolt up a hitch and you have your receiver right here and it's down below sitting a lot lower to the ground rather than being tucked up under the uh, backside of the, uh, of the Highlander. So 
I've just heard from a lot of you guys and you guys know who you are and I appreciate you guys letting me get this information out just because it seems to be a problem that dealerships are just halfway in this and trying to take the easy, the cheap way out, which I can't blame them, I guess, but they're trying to halfway this. Find one that comes from the factory with it on there, guys. So I'm, like I said, I'm showing you guys this. I'm walking back inside now. I'll finish talking to you here, but it's uh, definitely, uh, like I said, take, take care of yourselves. Make sure that uh, you do this the right way because I think you're gonna have more problems than you really want. So just tell them, no, I want one that's already on there from the factory, even if they say, well, we can find you one or, or we can add one after the fact. I mean, um, let them find one that's on there. It's code DH, so Delta Hotel. Have them find you one, have them get you one from another dealership if they don't have it. They're out there, guys. Uh, or even order it from Toyota that way. So you will be much, much happier, it sounds like, from uh, the stories that I'm getting. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, watch my other two videos. They are available on the Limited and the Platinum. Um, if it's, um, you do have to change the sensor. Um, if you're, um, sorry. I was raining. Now I'm under under some cover. You will have to change the sensor um, if you're doing it right. Um, the kick sensor is part of the limited, part of the platinum. If you guys want that, then you definitely need to do that. There's ways to add it. If you don't care, then you don't care. But just watch out, guys. So um, just meant to give you a heads up, like I always try to do, give you the information. You guys let me know what you think. Definitely, if you guys have had the same issue, put it in the comments. Let other people know what people have said to you but it seems to be a huge issue with them trying to add uh, aftermarket hitches to these Highlanders. It's just, for whatever reason, it, it doesn't make any sense what they're trying to do. So um, other than they're just trying to get out at, you know, a couple hundred dollars and there you go. So um, definitely you guys, uh, <laughs> hopefully you appreciate me going out there showing you what I was showing you here in the rain, but uh, uh, beautiful day in Nashville, of course. So. Hopefully you guys have a great day and a great year. Uh, I appreciate everyone of you guys. Like and comment, subscribe. Steve Watch Buick Toyota in Nashville. If you guys are looking for a vehicle, definitely let me know what you're looking for. And uh, you know, if you want to come to Nashville buy a car, I'd love to help you, uh, treat you the right way, and uh, take care of you guys. So Steve Watch Buick Toyota in downtown Nashville. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.